I'm Nick Swatz, and I am the director and writer of Chrysalis. And uh, before I start, um, I'm going to have the cast uh, introduce themselves to you. Hello, my name is Kendall Karstens. My name is Brooklyn Sangra. I'm Carlos Westbrook. And I'm Farrell Tatum. And they've been a lovely cast, and I'm very thankful to have them with me. Um, I want to start and talk about the symbolism that I use in the play a little bit. So Chrysalis, the actual Chrysalis, the last stage of a caterpillar turning into a butterfly, um, symbolizes how we all go into life as that caterp caterpillar, thinking that we're going to end up one way, um, but the trials and tribunes that we have, whether they're self-inflicted or um, from outside sources, uh, change us, and either we die within that chrysalis or we break free as a beautiful new creature and leave our limits behind, um, as Robert explains in the end of the play. Um, also, I use uh, in the script um, the, st the scene directions, uh, stage directions, uh, uh, this use of lighting um, and weather is a big thing that I um, use. For instance, the fog in the first scene uh, symbolizes how it's not easy to see clearly and make clear decisions all the time. Um, and when that fog blows out into the audience, it, it kind of hazes you over as well. Um, and the time period, of course, that I used uh, Salem in 1693, because you can research the heck out of the Salem witch hunts, what happened before, what happened afterwards, but the one thing that you never find is, or what happened during, but the one thing you never find is what happened afterwards. So I wanted to use my creativity to create this story that's in there. And so obviously the political issues that are happening during Salem 1693 um, definitely adds to the story, adds dimension. Um, characterization, that's the biggest thing that really represents me and my values in the play. Um, there are four specific characters, uh, Elizabeth, Robert, Anne, and Jacob, that um, express my values as much as they can. Uh, Robert, um, ironically being my middle name, um, he expresses my values the most in the fact that he will go to the ends of the earth for his friends. That family unit is always the strongest thing, but uh, family to him is not who you are genetically related to, but the people who care about you the most, the people that you're around, the people that you care about the most. Um, so there's that, and uh, he has troubles that he goes through, through the process of the play, uh, and uh, in the end, someone says, if you don't stop worrying about this, you're going to die. And there's a long pause, and Robert looks them in the eye and says, I died long ago. And uh, that statement's really profound to me, one of my favorites in the whole play. And then he has that wonderful monologue in the very end um, about how he went into life as that caterpillar and the chrysalis and then breaking free and he leaves behind his limits because it's his only option. Um, Elizabeth, another one representing that family unit and moving forward and pushing and striving no matter what, um, always being strong. Um, and Anne. Uh, Anne and Elizabeth really help each other get through, which is really important in life. We are social beings, and we need to interact with each other. Um, and then finally, there's Jacob, who is very skeptical, but he is very naive and trusting of people, um, which I tend to be at times. Uh, until you, Like Jacob, you have my trust until you lose it, and then it's hard to gain back, which is common with a lot of people, yeah? Um, so... All of these things are shown through the writing technique and the weather and, and, and the symbol, symbolism and metaphors and things. It's really fun. Um, and of course, then there's the filming process. And so that was, that was very interesting and fun. Tedious, but fun. I had a, I had a blast. Uh, I said, OK, I'm going to write this script to turn into my class, but that's not really anything to show them. Right. You know, like pieces of paper here. Um, and so that's like, all right. so decided, hey, let's make a poster. So I contacted Brooke Windsor, who couldn't be here with us today. And um, she made a poster for me for the cover of the script. And then I said, wait, this has come to life so much. And so I called my friend Peter, who graduated a couple years ago. And uh, I asked him if he would be interesting, interested <laughs> in, Very interesting. Um, filming, <laughs> in filming the, um, a trailer for it, like a movie trailer. And so he said, yeah. And so we have what you just watched. And um, that was a lot of fun. And uh, of course, <laughs> there's always the bloopers that happen. Mm, yes. um, <laughs> I can think of a few, like Farrell has one, for example. Well, uh, you really wanted us to like get into character. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, yeah, there's a lot of kind of these questionable satanic references, so he wanted us to really get into that mindset, I suppose. Kendall. Yes. This is what's going to happen. I'm going to put you in that black cloak, I think, in the brown shirt. Uh, put, probably put the hood up over you, and then you're just going to do this really cool, like, dancing with the devil type thing. Satan, 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 Satan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? It was Satan. Wow. Uh, she's getting character. Yeah. And so he became Satan. <laughs> <laughs> the cutest form of Satan we ever did see. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um... And then, of course, <laughs> we come to Brooklyn. <laughs> oh, it's just a mess. <laughs> it's just a hot mess. Get out of the house. <laughs> Frill, say that when I come in. Ow, Peter. <laughs> Okay, you know what? This is enough. Cut this, thing, two. this thing is itchy. <laughs> Somebody bring me a donut! <laughs> you didn't tell no, me. No, yeah, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, stop looking at me. Okay, no one looks oh, at me. <laughs> um, but I think, aside of all the tripping and falling and the diva ness, mm. one of my favorites and one of the most Classic examples of being a diva, Farrell. Um, one of my favorites was uh, Carlos. Okay. I, I told him, he, he asked on the cloak, you see the shot of him coming, Farrell's talking. She's explaining, oh God, what's happening? And I lose my footing for like four seconds and trip. And then <laughs> Farrell almost she hit my head off. She had a little moment. Exactly. You're a professional, Carlos. I mean, Be an actor. Man, they always give me a grande half-calf soy mocha latte. And I don't even know what that is, but I asked. Oh my God. Okay. Girl. No, I'm sorry. I tripped. We no, can just, just do this shot. Just again. do it again. Just I know. We'll do, do it again. again. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Just I do think. it right this time. Be an actor. Yeah, I will. Uh, yeah. Okay. But that's not as bad as, as Brooklyn demanding a donut. You know. I just she gets like that. We have to have donuts. donuts okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice catch. Oh God. Softball season. Good guy. And then I think Kendall. <laughs> Kendall had a blooper too. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, uh, <laughs> I wasn't watching where I was going, and I, uh, walked into the shop. I came in the frame. <laughs> came in the frame, and I was texting. You know, that's your everyday teenager, or unaware everyday sometimes. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> I think with that one, the, the, one of the funniest parts about it was the fact that, you know, the, the blooper happens, and then we all start laughing, and the camera goes off course, and you see, you know, we're all just laughing hysterically, and then we get a donut. And uh, the one <laughs> that Farrell is, she walks into the shot, realizes that she's not supposed to be there, but no one does anything. It's like this moment of... <laughs> we're all like, maybe they won't see her. Exactly. <laughs> maybe she's not there. <laughs> so uh, so that's, that's what happened, and then... Um, I love it. We had, I had a lot of fun. The, mm -hmm. the one thing, though, that I will say is that, and I thank you guys for putting up with me, is that mm -hmm. having written it and <laughs> directing it is that I had a very specific vision in mind. And I think that these guys, as well as Peter and Brooke, did a fantastic job of capturing and it. Reagan. And Reagan. And Reagan, too. Reagan, Reagan Seymour, yeah, she couldn't uh, be here um, with us today either. <laughs> so. But they all did a fantastic job of capturing what I wanted to happen. <laughs> and... Um, <laughs> And Peter as well. So uh, thanks, thanks for listening. Peter. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Hi, Mr. Manville. Hi, Mr. Manville. Me, go ahead. What? What? What, what are, are you, you doing? doing? What? I was convicted of witchcraft. Oh, okay. Okay, honey. That, um, look at your life. You look at your choices. You are running this through the woods barefoot, off. honey. It's you deserve bit. it. Just unscrew it. Get out of my house. Nick, <laughs> what are you doing? Nick, you're going to hang Feral that is so rude. <laughs> this is the magic. This is the hanging. I'm the tree. Uh, I'm the tree. <laughs>